Folks, welcome to the special global live stream book launch for a fantastic book by a fantastic author, Daily Dose of Leadership with Farshad Asal. How you doing today? I am doing great. It's been an awesome week. You look great, by the way. I know we met back when I had a little hair and maybe your hair was a little less gray, but uh, you've been you've been crushing it this last decade, man. And I'm so proud of you. And uh, let's get right into it. Daily Dose of Leadership. Why is this book needed today? You know, Kerry, first of all, I, I remember you helped me mm. my first book, No Excuses Mindset. And I got to give a shout out to you and your team because you guys made it so easy. Wow. Even though, you know, it was my first book and I, I want to start with this little story here. Yeah, yeah, go for it. It's heart to heart, right? I had a lot of people discouraging me saying, for sure, you know, you, you, you knew in this country, you know, only a few years, you have ideas about books, but who's going to buy your book and who's going to read your book? Ah. And I said, you know, I, I feel I have this message of no excuses mindset. I got to share this. I got to share my stories. And I was so fired up, but I really had a hard time putting it together, you know. And finally, when the book was published, I got some, some feedback from friends and so forth. Hey, you have some typos here, grammar here. And I said, guys, <laughs> that's okay. It's three times bestseller. <laughs> and it's been translated to three different languages so I'm, I'm so honored I don't want to impress you I want to impress upon you, you guys did a great job oh man with that book oh uh, well listen you were you were honestly I gotta tell people this you were one of our first international authors ever uh, we've had quite a few since then but I'm telling you Farshad I'll never forget the day when we got the request we love this book. We want to translate this into other languages. Um, I forget all the languages. I know we see Spanish, but didn't you get some um, Vietnamese? Vietnamese, man. Um, isn't it? How did you feel when when you got the word that you wanted a Vietnamese publisher to get your words in their language? What, what did I, you? Think? I felt honored, and I learned the lesson that. You know, it's not about what people say or think of you. It's, it's really what God thinks of you. Ooh, I mean, when good. God puts something in your heart, He will give you the tools and He will provide a team to bring it to fruition. And I learned from my No Excuses book to never have an excuse because it's, it's not going to work. It's only going to hold you back and help other people who don't want you to accomplish something for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Maybe, mm. maybe they really love you, but they, they they don't want you to go through challenges. I gotta tell you, even today, after you know writing so many articles, yeah. books, you know contributing on Forbes and so forth, I still are, I'm I'm nervous about this book. But you know what? I'm it comes with a lot of joy, mm. it comes with a lot of excitement and fire and the sense of fulfillment. How many people are going to be impacted? It just wakes me up every morning at 4 a.m. I want to do more. I want to be more. I want to become better. And, you know, I, I hope you understand this is not a motivational talk. This is a heart to heart. I want to share with your audience. Share with me. You all have a book in you. Mm. You all have a message that's going to impact someone. And you, you, you probably don't know that someone. So how we started this journey of daily dose of leadership. Yes. You, you know, I, I'm a big believer that change doesn't happen overnight. Okay. I'm a big believer that change requires those small changes that will yield big results. Right. And those are small changes. Number one, you've got to be intentional. You've got to focus on it because wherever you focus will grow. Yep. So I, I started waking up every morning for the last 10, 12 years and reflecting before we, I get out of the house and get busy with, with work, business, you know, as entrepreneur, as someone who loves to serve, I said, I'm going to spend 45 minutes me time 
And we, we're going to get to the, you know, the, the rule of five, the five things I do every morning, my daily rituals. But this is the point. I said, for 10, 12 years I have done this. Why not to come up with a daily dose of my own experiences? The wow. Chat- is the issue so you know this is what i learned yesterday and i put in a format of three pages with questions and you know what's, what's really beautiful what's that you you read it there's a qr code at the bottom of every daily dose that i'm sharing with you and you scan it on your phone takes you to youtube three minutes I saw that. so we have 123 videos attached to this book Oh my gosh, I love this. This is an interactive book, folks. I don't know if you caught that, but as you read the book, you get massively inspired and then you scan the code and you go right to his YouTube video that is corresponding for a deeper dive. Absolutely. I love it. (laughs) I love it. Well, listen, you are such a generous man. Uh, I wanna also share that you have this incredible website uh, that you're giving away. Um, tell us about this, because I know that the leadership, coaching, all these things are very important to you. You know, th- this was part of the journey, of course. You know, it's, it's in my heart to serve. I, I always thought, you know, I'm, I'm blessed with working in this company, Bankers Life, for years and years, and I'm sharing with my team members. We are growing together. And, you know, I'm, I'm blessed with a great team in the country. You know, 200, 300 insurance agents. And for years and years, 24 years, I've, I've been working with Bankers Life. And I said, wow. I can share my message with people who cannot afford coaching. They don't have access to people like yourself, like me, or many other coaches out there. How can I dedicate 90 minutes per week of my time to serve? Wow. Because my mission in life, as you know, Kerry, is helping people. And this is from bottom of my heart, helping people become their best God-given version. So good. So every Tuesday at 6 p.m., we get together with a group of people who have a dream with no coach, no mentor. And from all over the world, they log in. And I just give myself for 90 minutes. I, I mean, the, the, the membership they pay, like 20 bucks or whatever, it's nothing. It just takes care of the website and stuff. We, you know, the assistance I have. But I only spend ninety minutes on this, and I give back to whoever who has who has a dream. Hey, you have question about publishing book? I'm here. You have question about entrepreneurship? We are here for you. You have question about leadership? And the beauty of it is all these sessions you see there the summary is is right here on daily dose of leadership ah, of them. <laughs> i love it i love it so who would have thought back in the day when we met that you and by the way you have over a dozen people watching but here's the other thing you're on facebook youtube twitter linkedin you're on all these channels this is only one channel's traffic right now so right now there's probably hundreds that are watching and this thing's going to live on for quite quite some time but who would have thought for shot that the day you launched this book which was only a day or two ago you're already number one new release i mean that how does that feel to know that when you launch you have such a hungry crowd that they are excited to learn and grow you know, Kerry, I have I have great friends. I mean, people who I've been working with. You know, I speak at churches. I speak in my wife's coach. I speak for Bankers Life. I speak at Gamma International. You know, I I feel so so grateful. Even though at the beginning when I started this journey, when I came to US, I couldn't speak English. Wow! And Did you hear that, folks? What's your excuse? <laughs> In Can fact, I, is that the name of your book? That's the name of your other book, isn't it? <laughs> so I, I had challenges and people said, same group of people for a shot. I, and I, I, I'm sure this, this type of people exist in our life. We all love them. They have all, they have the right intention. For shot, you're going to be a speaker. You can't even communicate. I mean, yes, 
I ended, ended up in, in a crowd with more than 4,000 people. Wow. Three, three, four years ago. And in next five days, actually, I'm leaving on Sunday. Next five days, I will be speaking in five cities in China about entrepreneurship and recruiting and so forth. And it, it's, it's just a great honor to see that God opens up doors. It's and amazing. the timing, I can't control the timing. The book got published like two days ago, going to China for this. I'm sure they're going to be fired up to get a copy of this book as well. So everything will work at the time that it's supposed to work. You just Ooh, have good. to take the first mm. step. Mm. The first step. And, and I, I'm sure many people think right now, oh, that's not for me. I'm not there yet. You know, I'm, I, I haven't accomplished much. You know what? If you want to wait for the time to be perfect to do something, I have news for you. That time never will come. Mm. And every single of you on this platform, you do have a gift, a greatness that I'm sure when you share with someone, that person's life will be impacted, will change. Wow. wow. That's so, so good. I see, I, I see, I see, you know, I see people that I recognize. I see Steven, I see, uh, you know, uh, I don't know Giselle, but I see Giselle, she seems amazing. You know, you, you joined this John Maxwell team years and years ago, and that's how we connected. Of course, uh, your impact and in influence and income has grown exponentially. Why do you think that is? is? You know, there's a lot of people out there saying a lot of different voices and messages. Why has your influence, impact, and income grown? And you talk about that in your new book. You know, thank you for that. Yeah, John Maxwell and many others mentored me in the last 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. I had mentors in my life. And I've been blessed with mentors. It started with my own father. Wow. You know, when I was seven, eight years old, just observing how hard he works. You know, he, he we are a big, big family, you know, four brothers in the house. And my, my dad was the only one working at the time because we were going to school, whatever. Mm. The reality is I said, you know what, I, I want to I wanna learn from mentors and someday become like my dad. Yeah. So I can serve people. I can I can help people. That's right. And then I I had another mentor when I was 19, 20 years old, Dr. Nasreddin Sahabu Zamani. Nasreddin Sahabu Zamani was a professor in the university in Iran. Mm. And it just happened that we connected and he mentored me for seven, eight years. Then so many. John C. Maxwell. I observed John C. Maxwell every move he makes because not always from the message he has mm. but from the heart he has i've mm. been in coach and mentored based on the way that he treats people the way he does things the action more than what he shares even though what, what he shares is very important and impactful but from the whole journey he, he's in in this john maxwell coaching company so I have learned a lot. Then Ron Willingham, fantastic coach. I mean, the, the author and founder of Integrity Coaching. He, he coached me and mentored me for three, four years. And, and just mentors one after the other. So many people in my own company uh, that I'm working with. Life is all about mentors. You mentored me when, when I started the book and I knew nothing about mm. publishing books. So you step by step your process is incredible yeah awesome. thank it's you not, it's not rocket science but you you make it so easy so there's really no excuses if you have a message you want to live your best life yeah and share what you have you know overcome the fear and doubts and what people are gonna think how about if I fail you know what we're gonna fail but the reality is success and f requires failure yes see but I, people aren't people aren't willing to do that I, i've realized that recently for that you know people are not willing most people 
they don't want to look dumb. They don't want to fail. They don't want to risk. And you're saying, look, I, I didn't even know how to speak English. <laughs> and people were telling me, how are you going to write a book? How are you going to be a speaker? And yet here you are today. And now you're going to China. I'll tell you what, man, that, that takes some guts. Yeah, I, I feel so, so blessed. Listen, Stephen uh, just says he quoted you, success requires failure. I love that. So let's talk about what, did I hear something? I could be wrong, but did you do something with prisons at one point? Yes, actually, if you go back to my page on Amazon, there's a book called Men Built for Others. I mean, it, it's just a great story I, I want to share with you. Just so yeah. quickly. A friend of mine invited me to go in and speak in this prison. Yeah. Sold it out. And I knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is right there, right? Men I, knew not, I knew nothing about prison and inmates. I said, you know what? I'm going to pray and I go. So I didn't say no. I didn't say I'm, I don't know anything about it. I said, you know what? I'm, I'm sure there's a message I'm going to share with them. So I go there. This is a graduation, 350 inmates and wonderful, wonderful people we connected. I spent five hours. I supposed to be there for 30 minutes, just like today with you, but we spent five hours <laughs> hugging them, sitting down and listening to them. And first sentence I said was, you know what? I never have given a speech for prisoners, but I know one thing. We have, we all have done bad things in life, made mm. just in life, but unfortunately you got caught. Ah. <laughs> and then we, they start yeah. laughing and they said, you know what? We love this guy. Then we start, I sat down next day with three, four of inmates, sharp. They are just good, good leaders in, in prison. I said, guys, you you guys have something that I don't have. And they were moving on the chair. I said, what is that? I said, you have time. Ooh, and I said, okay. And there are 5,200 inmates in this prison. I'm sure we can get 10, 11 stories that can impact people outside of these walls. Mm. Because there are you know, youth, there are people out there today. They're gonna they going through the same thing you were going, and they're gonna end up here. How we can stop that? So I gave them the framework. I said, "What brought you to prison? How, how did you end up in prison? What transformed you in prison? And what is your message to the youth out there?" Yeah. I'm, I'm so blessed to tell you that I, I was with Roger Nelson. Roger Nelson invited me, good friend of mine. It, it, it is is amazing that they didn't let him in, but it was I was the one they let they let in. So he's supposed to introduce me. Um, and anyway, it was, it was interesting. Those three leaders they they brought thirty four stories together, and I received a letter one day that for sure, what did you do in this prison? Because we have most people writing their stories, translating from from different languages to English. And the prison is changing to very active, positive environment. Mm. I just gave them a project and hope. Yes. That you inside these walls can also impact lives out there. And guess what? 11, 11 fantastic stories in, in this book, Men Built for Others. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And but see, I love that you you didn't come in as the expert speaker, the one with all the titles, the one with all the success. You identified with the prisoners, even though you had never gone to jail, I'm guessing. <laughs> the fact that you said, we've all done something wrong, you got caught. <laughs> and I mean, wow, that is amazing. Um, what do you hope? this book does daily dose of leadership what what what, what will be the, the story the story of the prison is is, is also in this book How is it your stories i mean you know john maxwell told me something and you know i had the honor to have a couple of lunch and dinners with john and one day he said experience by itself is not useful evaluated experience is going to change your life 
Ooh, evaluated experience. Okay. Sit down and reflect on your experience. Experience comes and goes. Everyone has experience. But sit down and debrief and reflect and evaluate and share those experiences with people because people don't buy your knowledge, they buy your experience, your stories. Wow. Wow. Love it. So you hope that this book will lead others into evaluated experience. I went through a lot of tough times in life and 123 daily doses. I'm sure people will relate because they're going through some of these challenges. Yeah. And there are so many people, they, they, they lose hope. They wake up in the morning, everything's going wrong. Uh, all the challenges, I don't have time for this book. You know what? Spend 20, 25 minutes investing in yourself every morning. Mm. Because only 2% of people that give themselves time to think and to create. 98% of becoming consumers of social media, news, this and that. But the reality, do you want to be a consumer or you want to be a creator? Oh, I like that. That's good. That's Every good. day we, cho we choose. Every day we choose to be a consumer or be a cr creator. Yes, in some level we are consumers as well. But I want to choose to create more and more and impact people around me to become the best version of themselves because God has given everyone a gift. Sometimes mm. we don't pay attention to it. I love it. I love what this gentleman says. Do you know this guy? He says, for Shad is always an amazing coach and a great leader. Every word he says is full of knowledge and experience. Congratulations for the new book. Thank you, Mr. Daviran. Yeah, he's a, He's a great friend. Oh man, that is awesome. I never met him in person, but wonderful individual. For Shad dropping the truth, Stephen quoting you, evaluate your experience brings learning together. This is fantastic. I wanna read a little bit about you because people might not know, uh, there might be some guests here, uh, but you have this really cool bio that basically says that you came from Iran with only $400, barely could speak English. You've rose through the ranks and you've become the regional director of Bankers Life in Southern California and Hawaii. Listen, man, you got a YouTube channel, you've been certified with the JMT, you've gotten multiple awards, and yet I see with you a humility, a tenderness, a desire to help other people succeed more than people think you're important. You think that's that's some of the success there that's caught in the book? You know, thank you for, for saying that. My life changed when I went through some health issues 10, 12 mm. years ago, and I decided to go from success to significance. I decided to go from me, 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 Yes. Others. And we all have that. We all going to go through that transformation at some point. You know, in the past was, what is it in it for me? How can be number? I can be number one in the world. You know what? I don't want to be number one in the world. I want to be number one for the world. Ooh, that's good. I, that's I, good. I really want to impact so many lives. I want to, I want to die empty. I don't want... I don't want to die with like some some people that they had songs never had the chance to sing they had books in them never published they had dreams never accomplished never experienced sense of fulfillment i want to give it all i got because success is not something you achieve success is something you attract oh that's good and that's significance good. is it, it gives you so much energy to do more. You know, people say, Farsha, how do you get chance, uh, time to all of, do all of these? First of all, I'm so blessed with a fantastic team. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is the truth. I, I, have, I have people like you and your team in my life. Oh, man. I, I have my banker's wife team. I have my wise coach team. The, the team is, is just awesome. But you know what? When... The mission is clear because clarity gives you power. And my team knows we the direction we are going is, is about serving. Even even in bankers' life, we sell insurance. I always sell, I always tell my team, 
we we don't sell we serve people yeah we, we move them from where they are to the, where they should be mm. and that's that's our mission in life with many many people in life right now they don't have life by design they live life by default yes and the the daily dose of leadership in 123 days will help you to form new habits because first we make our habits then our habits will make us right and the, the habit that you forming is slowly surely will separate you from the mass will give you the courage to do something new in life will help you become the best version of yourself and will will teach you how to live a fulfilled life mm. That's what daily dose of leadership. At least that's my my goal, my hope, my prayers. For that is so good. That is so good. I'm looking right now, man. You are topping the charts. Um, I bet you after this live stream later today, you're gonna be number one in a ton of categories. Because right now you're you're number two. You're number two right he here. I mean, <clears throat> you're 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 topping the charts, man. And uh, I just feel like our world needs this message more than ever. I, I, I feel like. You know, today you go on Twitter, you go on social media, you can see a lot of negativity, a lot of that consumer, not creator. Um, you're saying, look, we need leaders more than ever. Um, what do you hope happens in China? I've never been to China. You know, <laughs> it was it was just so amazing when, when you serve and you give. This is how opportunity opens up. So a month ago, I gave a speech about recruiting and developing teams mm. in Gamma. It was a great honor. And as a result of that presentation, somebody from China was attending there. And the CEO has invited me to give a speech in five different cities for his company. Um, and that's here we go. That's thousand, there thousand, there you go. Wow. Thousand, thousand people a day. Uh, every day I'm traveling to different cities and uh, my goal is to make the most impact I can in the sh limited time, which is four or five hours a day with each team and something new will come out of it. I don't know. I, I just said yes, exactly the same way I said yes to the prison. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure that there's a plan for it and I just, I'm the co-pilot. You know, I, I, I want to be the co-pilot. Yes. I trust the pilot. But, that, but that's kind of the theme. And I think that's the theme today that I'm hearing is <clears throat> you've had these opportunities come to you. And rather than think about it too much or, you know, say no, you say yes. <laughs> Excuse me. That's you. Yeah, you know, obviously it takes a lot of time to get prepared. I'm, I'm not saying just say yes and with no preparation, but... You know, those daily reflections, I call it rule of five. And I know we have limited time. I want, to, yeah. I want to finish with this. The rule of five, five things every morning. I mm. pray, I, I think and reflect. I read, I write, and I inspire every single mm. day. That's that's the uh, five things, the rule of five I have. And it has changed my life because when I'm fighting and dealing with challenges every day, I'm prepared. I'm mentally ready, and when you're ready mentally, yes, you overcome a lot of challenges and issues. So good, that's so good. I, I, I'm gonna land the plane on this. You could say yes because you did the preparation. In other words, I don't like to fake it till you make it. I don't like that type of stuff. You said yes because you had developed the confidence because you had did the preparation. And I see you, you know, look at, I mean, Erica here, you have, you know, Steven, you have Giselle, you have, I mean, Mario. I mean, all these people are showing up saying, we want to keep growing. For Shad, let's end with this here. Besides, uh, I, I do want to tell people one more time, absolutely think about getting that free trial of this incredible coaching community if you like what Farshad saying uh every week coaching call look at who he's had on this amazing but right here what do they do they just hit join now and they can do the trial that's it yeah and wow. they will contact Giselle you know Giselle takes care of the three months free and after that if they want to continue they can 
but it will be an honor to have you there. I love it. So Prashad, I want to see what happens in China. I want to follow you on social media. So we we're putting all those links in, in this uh, live stream. You've added a ton of value to us today. It's amazing to see you, China, prison, California, Hawaii. I mean, you are a soul on fire. We're a brand match, igniting souls, soul on fire. But Farshad, what's the last thing you want to say to people today? The last, the last thing is, you know, I know we're all dealing with doubts, fears, and people sometimes just discourage us especially what people are going to think how about if i fail you know if you don't if you don't start you, you're never going to see this type of results mm -hmm. the message i have today is just to start doing something new and don't worry about the rest god never going to give you a dream and vision without giving you the tools and the team to get there oh that's good that's good I love it, Farshad. Listen, it's been amazing. I think we've known each other for a decade or more, and I keep seeing you just say yes, say yes, and be prepared. You've enriched my life. Here's your Instagram. We're going to follow you all the way to China. Um, but thank you so much. And I see this book already a bestseller, and I just think it's going to add to your impact. Thank you so much, Kerry, and thanks to your wonderful team. God bless all of you. Take care, everybody. We'll see ya. Farshad, a renowned leadership expert, once again shakes up the leadership landscape with his latest bestseller, Daily Dose of Leadership. Dive into 123 days of profound insights designed to craft you into the servant leader you were meant to be. Farshad has carefully segmented the journey into awareness, growth, and mastery, creating a roadmap for your leadership development. Prepare to unleash your true potential, to inspire and influence with Daily Dose of Leadership. Order your copy of Daily Dose of Leadership today and start the journey toward the leader you aspire to be.